What's the main thing you want to get out of tomorrow night, Lepper? Uh, the last game of the NAB Cup, no injuries. I think every coach would say that first and foremost, that we walk away from the game, everyone's fit and healthy. Um, and then obviously number two, a competitive performance. You always want to win, but we also want to at least be able to implement the things we've already done the last two weeks to a competitive level. How do you plan to use uh, Alan Christensen? Uh, midfield minutes, um, with a little bit of forward. Um, so uh, we think it's, think it's important, sorry, that he just runs out there and gets lots of you know ball in hand and gets some confidence and more than likely he'll be subbed out, you know, given the fact he's low preparation. But um, yeah, we think the best thing is to get him out there. So what have you seen from him? Uh, he's a very good player, Fatty. <laughs> you can see he's a boy that's grown up with a ball in his hand. Um, smart decision making skills. He's got he's got the lot. He's just got to get his fitness back, and that's the one thing we've got to manage with his time. So if he gets through tomorrow night without injuries. Be in round one, I would have thought so. Um, I mean, we'd, we'd have to make sure he pulls up well. Um, I said he's still. I think this whole year we have to manage Alan. To be honest, I mean, there may be a time we we'll have to rest him, you know, throughout the season. Um, just given the fact he hasn't had a pre-season and he's gone a, a year or two where he hasn't had full years, so we have to be pretty smart with him um, the way we manage him. Around one side, is it down to a couple of spots or still a bit open? Oh, it's still open. I think every week it's open, but we'll, you know, just because guys are even playing reserves this week, it doesn't mean they're not available for round one. I, I think we've sort of had a best team mentality from the from the get go, and that'll be the same. So if form drops away, someone will come in. There's definitely a few guys tomorrow night sort of playing for a spot. Oh yeah, yeah, they always are. You know, there's probably only ten or eleven guys on our list that are probably consistently playing at a high level. Um, there's probably another three or four that have found their spot um, and there's another three or four that are sitting around the fringes and that's just the way it goes with our team at the moment and I'm hopeful, really hopeful. We haven't made many changes out at the moment. That's a good sign. We've got some consistency in our group so hopefully the players can, can sort of keep that. I think a good team's a consistent lineup, and um, we've got that at the moment. Pre-seasons, they're just a, a, a little extra niggle because of who you're playing this week. The Suns? Yeah. Ah, uh, look... Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I think you have to ask the players. That. I don't think it's something coaches think about all too often. But I think in any pre-season game, players are, you know, they're not using it as their life and death sort of scenario. They know there's sort of another and bigger prize, you know, up for grabs in a couple of weeks' time. So um, whilst you want to get, you know, a lot of fitness and your game styling out of pre-season, as I said, keeping fit players on the park is the most important thing, and the players know that too. You play them pretty early in the season. Does that affect how you? Yeah, I think we play them eight times a year. The way it's fixturing with pre-season games and in-season games, we play them a lot. The Suns. That's just the way it goes. And um, so we know each other's sides pretty well. Difference is they've got a new coach, a new style. I've seen you playing pretty fast footy, which is you know probably no different to the way Rockets coached any other of his teams. So um, yeah, they'll be uh, a pretty tough team to stop defensively. That's for sure. You surprised Gas isn't playing? I wouldn't know what, why and why not. He's not. I mean, I don't really know what his issues are and, and why he is and isn't playing. That's up to them in their rehab, I suppose. I don't really make comment on something I don't know anything about. Uh, people, people forget about the coaches, you know. Yeah. With, you know, when you've got these suburban venues, the coach, you know, the coaches' boxes, you don't get a real, you know, feel for how you communicate game day. So when you go to a stadium, it's the first time you actually get a box set up. You get, you know, the way you, you know, your bench runs and the communication between the two. It's the first time that's going to happen for us. So that's it's actually a good hit out for the coaches as well, getting onto a, a ground like Metricon. Is it a bit, little bit tough for Ablett, just you know, as an outsider looking in, to have to come back uh, straight into round one? Oh no, I did it. I actually did it in 2004, come off shoulder, same surgery and played round one without a pre-season, so um, I don't, can't remember how well I went, probably kick five and you know smashed, I can't remember, but, <laughs> um, but so it's doable is all I'm saying, he's a mature player, he's a, he's a superstar, I'd be playing him anyway um, without a pre-season game because he's that good a player.